Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Travel Trucker, man. We back with another video, man. Hey, do me a favor. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Well, we back out here at the park, exercising, just trying to just keep, get the blood flowing. We're going to exercise every day, man. My son over there with the trainer. I want to talk to you guys, man. Mainly you, you owner-operators out there that's you know still on the road and whatnot hey man if you see the writings on the wall before that ink dry on that wall park that truck man yes i said it park that truck and get out and cut your losses man and move on man we got a lot of people out here that's still trying to hold on to the pipe dream of being an owner operator and they're not quite ready to let it go because they don't want to look like a failure hey listen man times is hard for everybody on every financial level on every aspect of living right now and the last thing you should do as an owner operator is try to hold on and keep digging yourself in a deeper hole that's not what you want to do guys you guys gotta Know when to hold them and know when to fold them. You're not a failure if you got to park that truck and go drive for a company, guys. My favorite YouTuber, Trucking with Tay, he just blew his engine or uh, engine seized up, locked up, whatever. He sat around the house for three weeks and he got his stuff together and he said, you know what? I'm going to go back and work for a company for a little bit because the owner operator thing just ain't in my cars right now. I got to do some repairs. Instead of him sitting around digging himself in a deeper hole, he cut his losses and went back to a company, man. And this is my this is my number one YouTuber, man. He, that was so real. A lot of people won't show that. A lot of people don't want to be real with people on social media and on the internet and on YouTube. Everybody want to show, oh, I'm doing this low, that. Nah, everybody got a bad side to trucking. So when trucking goes bad, keep it real and let people know, man. You know, if you're not any less of a man or a woman. If you got to go park that truck, listen. Then I seen my other favorite YouTuber, Just Trucking. I always talk about these same people. You're going to always hear these names. He was talking about how his insurance went from 6800 His junk had jumped to 23000 for lo for lost funds. Something they said with the insurance. Do you know the way these insurance people are set up? If you have any interaction, any interaction with the police or accident, whether you're at fault or not, they, you're going to have to prove to the insurance company that you was not at fault, even when the cops say you was not at fault. They, this was because somebody rear-ended him twice in his personal vehicle and in his semi-truck. They said, oh, that's a, a lost run or whatever they call it. They tried to run his insurance of 17000 Luckily, he caught it, and he had to prove that he was not at fault, even after he had paperwork from the police saying he wasn't at fault. The insurance people dropped it back down and came back to their senses. But what if you're not in a position to prove your case or have enough sense to know that? They're taking advantage of people right now. The insurance companies had a hard time during the pandemic. On top of that, they got a lot of litigation going on between the hurricanes and whatnot. And so when they go to court, they got to pay these lawyers. Who do you think got to pay that money back for them to recoup the money? You, the owner operator, they gotta get that policy from them. They're gonna put the price back on you. They're not gonna come out of their revenue for that. No, they're gonna put it back on the consumer. And if you don't like it, where you gonna go? Progressive on everybody. So um you got to know when it's like, man, this this ain't even worth it, man. If everybody just throwing the towel at one time, you know, maybe maybe things will change for the better, but we got too many people trying to hang on to that pipe dream because they don't want to look like a failure to their wife. Or they kids. If you care about them, you would know what's important and what you need to do ahead of time. Instead of trying to dig yourself more and more in debt. They say right now, Americans are in so much credit card debt that it's, it's ridiculous. They're paying everyday regular bills with their credit card. And they can't even pay the credit card off. So, when you see stuff like that, it puts it in perspective of Man, this is crazy, dog. This is crazy. You know, in the respect of... So, this for you to go to a grocery store, you got to use a credit card. 
They go to the movies, you're using your credit card. You go put gas in your car, you're using your credit card. You're not using no more debit cards. Rightfully so, I always say never use uh, debit cards to begin with. Use credit cards, but you know what I'm trying to say. You got people using everyday expenses, doing everyday expenses on a credit card. And a lot of owner-operators right now, freight is not paying nothing. You got a few pockets here and there that's still doing okay. Savannah, South Carolina, around those ports, maybe uh, Houston, you know, West Coast. You know, you got your little pockets of the U.S. where they still doing all right. But for the most part, loads are not just not paying, and there's no way you can keep up if the load's not paying. So you have one breakdown, you out the game. You got one breakdown, and you got to have a tow truck, he 1,500, tire 500, you got engine work, you got to do 6000 You're not even clearing enough to take home 2000 a week. How you going to fix how you going to pay for that repair? Unless you already had your chicken put up, like I always say save your chicken. How you going to pay for that repair? Listen, that's why I named the title of this video Park Your Truck, Cut Your Losses. That is exactly why because a lot of people need to hear that, man. It's okay to fail you didn't fail if you try it's okay to park it's okay to lick your wounds and move on man how much more you want to take a loss before you 20 30 thousand 40 thousand in debt and you could have stopped it a long time ago by just parking the truck and not renewing that insurance but you don't pay for a whole nother year now you got to do a whole nother year of suffering who want to do that bro who wants to do a year of suffering once you pay that insurance policy you got to try to make that back that means you ain't never going home. So why not park the truck? Don't pay for that new renewal. If anything, rent out your trailer and park your truck. Sell the truck. Get what you can get. You probably not going to get what you paid for it. But you ain't got to pay for nothing. Bro, that insurance, bro, if you get anything under 10000 on the policy right now, you are licking your chops. If somebody hear that you got an under $10,000 policy, they're going to be in their feelings. Everybody paying fifteen and above right now, man. For one truck, we ain't talking three, four trucks. We talking about one, two trucks, man. Why not park the truck, go work for a company, get get that overhead off your off the top of your head, get that monkey off your back, and pay down some of them credit card bills you got, man. And let's move forward and move smarter for 2025. That's all I'm trying to say, man. But to think of, like, man, I'm just gonna stick it out, man. I'm gonna ride it out. It's gonna level off. The hell with that leveling off, man. Trucking ain't the only thing, man. It's other stuff that you could do to make ends meet and not stress out, bro, because I see a lot of dudes having heart attacks, strokes. They just stressed out, man. You know, they in that truck five, six, seven weeks, dude. Who the hell finna do that, bro? That's not conducive. Remember that video I dropped? Uh, um, when did I drop it this morning? I dropped it this morning. Don't put trucking over your family. Like, come on, man. Like, the stress going to kill some of y'all. But park the truck. Get out of that truck. Go find you a company that's local. Create you a side hustle. Run that bag up and get out that hole, man. You watching this video, I know you in the hole some form or way of fashion. Everybody in the hole. I mean, well, I'm not in the hole, but I done been there before. So everybody that's in the hole... I know one of you watching this right now is, listen, man, you can get out that hole. You can recover. You're going to be good. 2025 almost said we got to finish 2024 strong. We got to cut our losses, man, to move on, man. It is okay to come home and say, baby, I tried. Hey, kids, I'm going to come home and work local. I might not be able to do all the stuff I used to do, but at least I'm going to be with y'all every day, and I'm going to work through this and get back right. That's respectable. What I can't respect is when you got too much pride to throw in the towel and say that it's messed up out here. And you steady trying to make it. You steady trying to make it. And you in the end, you just making your family suffer. Can't respect that, man. So park that truck. Get out of that truck. Do some praying. And let's move on, man. It's okay, guys. You don't understand what I'm saying? It's okay, man. So from the travel trucker to you, hey, I appreciate y'all for walking with me this morning. We're going to keep trying to crank out two videos a day, man. I got a little method I want to try for this month of August. We're going to go hard, balls to the wall, no pun intended, no ditty, and we're going to see where we go, man. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I'm going to see y'all on the next one.